So today we are looking at Ping Yi OS. Now Ping Yi OS is, as you can probably tell, a variant of Ping iOS. Now that uh, being Ping iOS is based on, on Ubuntu 11.04, but it has some significant tweaks and changes uh, from the not only the regular Ubuntu, but also from the Ping iOS from which it is apparent. Uh, now Basically, this distribution is aimed towards netbooks. Now, since I personally don't have a netbook to test this out on, I'm just testing it out on my regular everyday hardware, and I am very, very impressed. It is a very polished and very functional distribution. Now, in what ways does it differ from the uh, from Ping iOS? Now, first of all, I have done a review of Ping I, Ping iOS 11.04, which you can click on here. This, however, is a netbook spin of that distribution. Now, as it presents itself to the eye, you're not going to notice many changes, but that's definitely a good thing. So first of all, uh, Ping, uh, Ping Yi OS is only available as a 32-bit edition, as it is only designed for uh, netbooks, really. And also, it has some very, uh, very nice power management tools, which I really appreciate on any kind of laptop, not just a netbook. So uh, as if uh, if you've seen my Fuduntu review, I talked about the Jupyter power saving uh, utility, and it is present here in Ping Yi OS. So you can see here that it has some very nice options to uh, to control your hardware, uh, just to help prolong battery life and uh, and things of that nature. So you've got power saver, high performance, maximum performance, but you also have things like device control where you can disable uh, external drives you may have plugged in, or you disable your Wi-Fi, depending on what hardware you've got. You can change your screen resolutions, the orientation, and the video displays, which is all very handy right there from the toolbar. Now, speaking of the panel, uh, we do have the indicator applets just like uh, normal everyday Ubuntu. However, we do have the GNOME calendar instead of the custom Ubuntu one, and we also have the Mint Update Manager here, which is of course, uh, which is of course straight from Pingai OS. Now, as far as applications go, I'm not going to go through every single one of them because even though this distribution has trimmed itself down by about 500 megs, I believe, um, it still has a bucket load of applications installed, mostly geared towards uh, geared towards mobility's sake. So if we go up here to the menu, um, it is, of course, the Mint menu. So if we just scroll through these here, um, I'm not going to go through everything, but basically they leave the core applications, the one that make Ping iOS special, they leave them in. Uh, which is, of course, very convenient. So first of all, as you probably noticed, we do have Docky installed, uh, and also we have things like Cover Globus and Shutter, which is, of course, the screen uh, the screen screenshot deal. Uh, as far as games are concerned, we don't have any games installed by default, but of course you have Play on Linux and the DGL Game Manager. Uh, Play on Linux, of course, being the wine wrapper for uh, installing games and Windows software easily. Under graphics, we have basically the same amount of stuff. Um, rapid photo downloader, Pinter, uh, LRF viewer for your ebooks, and uh, Shotwell for your photo managing, and rapid photo downloader does exactly what it says. Pinter is the mini GIMP. Uh, under internet, we've got a fair bit of good stuff here. We've got Deluge, BitTorrent, Dropbox installed by, de uh, by default, so, so thumbs up for that. Empathy, Firefox, Gwibber, Skype, Sun Java, Team Viewer, and all that other fun stuff. LibreOffice and Calibro, which is again uh, ebook reader, and you have a banking finance manager, which I might add is a little bit random, but I think it's a good addition as people don't generally know what finance managers to install. Sound and video, we have a very trimmed down selection compared to what you get on Pingaio OS the, by default, uh, but we do have some very potent apps here. They are, they are the best of the breed that you can get, and they cover the bases very nicely indeed. Arista Transcoder, Cheese Clementine, it replaces Rhythmbox, Movie Player, OpenShot Video Editor, PMS Linux for uh, your media to um, enable your media server, media server with your PS3, Sound Recorder VLC, uh, under system tools, again, most of the stuff that we've seen on Ping iOS, uh, Dejadoop for your backup, Jupyter Power Manager again, the Phone Manager, and uh, Unit Boot and Ubuntu Tweak. Uh, of course, we do have Wine installed, so you get Wine Tricks as well. And then under Administration, it's mainly the basic stuff, as well as a sound sharing tool there, which is helpful. Uh, preferences, again, same sort of stuff on, as on Ping iOS. Um, but yeah, there are a few there are a few extras here. Also, it does include Ubuntu One. So for those of you who don't want to use Dropbox and do have an Ubuntu One account, feel free and go ahead. By the way, congratulations on Ubuntu One for reaching one million users. That's definitely a uh, definitely a milestone. Uh, so now the other interesting thing about this distribution, and uh, and I actually should mention it for the parent distribution as well, and that is that they have downgraded the compiz. So instead of running at version uh, 0.8.7. Uh, they are they downgraded back to 8.6. 
Uh, now the reason for this is because uh, the performance was a little bit laggy uh, when they initially brought out Ping iOS 11.04. So since then, they released a quick update that just uh, dropped that compiz back down to what we all know and love. So hence I can do the whole zoom to scroll thing that I've uh, already been doing in this video. And also the, um, the effects have gone back to their regular uh, keyboard shortcuts. So you have the um, Windows key or Meta key E for your expo and stuff like that. Now, Pinga OS, uh, of course, is a very out-of-the-box distribution, and it sh and it certainly doesn't disappoint here. Um, in, in my in, in my experience, just been that I've just been running this on a laptop, it is a perfect distribution to have on a on a mobile computer because it, it is really up to the task, handle anything you throw at it, and uh, and also the power management is top notch. Now, also, I have noticed that the performance is significantly better in uh, in Ping and Ping E OS as opposed to uh, Ping iOS that I initially reviewed. Um, although I may not have said it in the review when Ping iOS um, 11.04 came out, it was a bit sluggy and I think that was owed mainly to the Compiz. Uh, since they've downgraded that Compiz, the performance has really picked up and uh, it's definitely noticeable. So uh, honestly, for a GNOME 2 distribution, it looks very polished indeed. Now, uh, of course, you don't get all the look and feel uh, eye candy as you do in um, as you do in the main edition. They have stripped out a lot of the themes and you can see here we basically just get the Ping iOS theme and elementary which are virtually the same thing. The window controls are very nice indeed. Um, they definitely hearken to the uh, to the recently released OS X line which has of course that little full screen uh, button there which they kind of, uh, I can't really say they've mimicked but they've definitely taken cues from. Uh, now. As far as the global menu up on the top panel here goes, it is uh, much more uni uh, uniform than the one on currently on Ubuntu 11.04. It behaves itself a lot more and it really, uh, I think, is a lot more solid, it's a lot more stable. It doesn't do as many strange things as, uh, as what global menus have done in the past. Uh, so the panel is very well behaved on the on the whole, and I know that's a strange thing to say, but over over the years I have used a lot of global menus, and some of them uh, mess up more than others. But this one is definitely behaving itself, which is a nice thing to see. Uh, so control center is of course your um, control, con uh, basically your control panel for all things GNOME, and uh, you guys have all seen that before, so I'm not going to spend too much time here. Uh, they do include the remaster sys backup, and of course that is what they used uh, to uh, create this distribution, as well as uh, you've got your install Pingy OS on the um, on the dock there. This is running off a live USB, although I have installed it, and it works just perfectly. Now the question comes down to it at the end of the day is that is this is this a good idea for a netbook? Um, in in most situations. As, I, as I've said before, Ping iOS can be a bit of a heavy distribution. Uh, Ping iOS, that is. Now, in the past, uh, this has been, uh, obviously, the developer has taken this, uh, has taken cues from this and realized that it's not really possible to have the full-fledged Ping iOS experience on a mobile computer, as it does bog down the RAM a bit. Having said that, they've really, he's really done a smart thing here and created uh, Ping iOS, and honestly it works very, very nicely, even if you only give it a limited amount of uh, resources. So uh, honestly, they make some, of course, Ping iOS and Ping iOS is famous for its lovely tweaks that they make to the system. Uh, of course, Firefox web browser here looks very, very glamorous indeed, gets its own custom theme, and you get plenty of bookmarks to keep you happy. As you can see here, we've got uh, favorites, video torrents, movie reviews, music and shopping, so you're going to be very busy there. And, uh, and honestly, he really does a nice job of tweaking this distribution to the way that, uh, that makes sense for the average user. So, of course, we have Nautilus Elementary. We have things like, uh, we, we have like the embedded terminal. We have uh, Clutterflow, as you can see here, which works just perfectly. And, uh, and honestly, there's, there's, really, that's, uh, there's really not much lacking in this distribution at all. Uh, even these little tweaks like uh, warning you when you're, using the root, uh, when you're using the root account in Nautilus, definitely a great addition and definitely one for the new users. So if you are looking for a laptop or a netbook distribution um, that definitely has the elegance of something like OS X, it has much better performance uh, than, than other GNOME 2 distributions I have seen, uh, then definitely give Ping, Ping Yi OS a look. Uh, apart from the name that is a little bit difficult to say, especially when you're in a rush like I am, uh, it definitely is a worthwhile distribution, especially if you're looking for that extra mobility. Uh, it has all of the applications and most of the tweaks that its parent does, but it does strip out some of the extra uh, apps and utilities just for lightness sake. Uh, one good example is GNOME Do. Now I do miss n not having 
GNOME do on here as uh, as Metaspace typing and then enter into whatever you want is very very convenient but in all honesty it's a good decision that they've taken it out as it does suck up a lot of RAM and a lot of extra resources. Having said that with the combination of the Jupyter Power Manager, Granola as well that's that's humming quietly in the background uh, you've got you've got GNOME 232, which is coming to end of life, but this distribution is still a modern-looking operating system. Best of the breed applications. We've got Clementine, Skype, Empathy, Thunderbird, Firefox, and VLC on the dock here, and you've even got a dock on the side to take care of all your places, uh, which of course automatically minimizes, as, you, as you've already seen, to help save screen real estate. Couple of little quirks I did notice, and one of those is that the uh, the help uh, the help section is the Ubuntu Desktop Guide, which is all very well if you're running Unity, but it doesn't seem to make much sense in this in this particular distribution. Now, there's not a whole lot they can do about that, of course, because it is running stock Ubuntu underneath. As far as boot up speed goes, it's really on par with uh, Ubuntu 11.04, so you're looking at around 20 to 30 seconds, uh, depending, of course, on what hardware you're running. If you're running this on a 4 gig SSD drive. Uh, then you're probably going to going to get a pretty fast boot. Now, uh, as far as disk space is concerned, this distribution is a 1.38 gig download, um, but at the same time, it only installs on a about a, uh, a slightly less than four gig footprint. So it tries to stay under that four gig limit so that those very small drive netbooks can handle it. But having said that, I think uh, honestly, I don't think netbooks are challenged for space much um, nowadays. So in that respect, it's not much of an issue. The only other comment that I could have is that uh, about the docky settings it would be better to have this dock uh, it would be better to have this dock on uh, on dodge or window dodge or intellihide as uh, when you maximize windows they do uh, they do uh, stop where the dock begins so i think uh, i mean obviously these settings are very easy to change for any uh, for any for any user who uh, pokes around for long enough but i think it might be worthwhile uh, turning one of these options on by default just maximizing that screen real estate even more uh, definitely a very worthwhile distribution for the laptop and the netbook a portable computing experience at your service and honestly this is a go-to distribution it gets the job done it gets it done very well very elegantly the performance is there compiz is back and rocking again with a slightly older version it's it's running off ubuntu 11.04 so you will have guaranteed compatibility with everything to do with ubuntu i've been meaning to get around to this distribution for a while but there has just been so much going on that it's been hard to get it into the pipeline but here it is Pingy OS uh, based on Ubuntu 11.04. Go and check it out and definitely props to Pingai for developing this operating system. This operating system is going uh, from leaps to bounds and, uh, and it's really gaining headway and uh, I really think for a good reason uh, that this distribution has grown into what it is today. So well done and I definitely look forward to what Pingai has for us in the future. Mm -hmm.